Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be painting a pastel sunset sky during the winters. So let's get started. First, let me walk you through all the materials that you will need. Here, I am using 100% cotton, 300 GSM, cold pressed watercolor paper. I will link all the materials down below. So make sure you check the description box. Next, you will need a rough paper to swatch all your colors. Then you will need watercolors. Here I am using Camling Artist Grade Watercolors. You can watch my review on that. I will link it above. Then you will need two jars of water, masking tape, rough cloth and a brush. So here I am using Art Essential Mop Brush and then I will use stationary round brushes. These brushes are super affordable and they have a wide range of brushes. So make sure you check that out. In case you want to purchase, you can use my code SHREYA7 to get some discount on all their brushes. Lastly, you will need a white wash and or white watercolor. Here I am just using Chinese white from same Camlin. And yeah, let's get started. So first, uh, let's start by applying masking tape on all four sides and then let's start sketching. Sketching is quite simple. You just have to draw a mountain and two lines below that. So before we start painting, let's erase all the pencil marks. As we are using pastel colors, I'm sure that it would show up once our painting is done. So yeah, then I'm just squeezing out my white color on my palette and let's make all the pastel shades. First, we will make the peach color. So here I'm using orange. First, I'll swatch the same color for you. Then I'll just add a tiny bit of white to it and you'll see that it will decrease the saturation. Now, let's make lavender color. So I'm taking ultramarine as it is. I'll swatch it for you. Then I'll start adding a little bit of white to it. You'll see that it will get a little lighter. Now, I want it to be a bit more purple and a bit on a right side. So... I'm just adding tiny bit of red to it. So basically it is ultramarine blue, crimson lake and white color all together. Next, let's make a pink shade. So I'm taking crimson lake. I'm adding tiny bit of orange to it and then I'll add white to the same mix to get this bright pink shade. Next, let's prepare our pastel yellow color. So for that, I'm taking Gambuge New. In case you don't have, it is same as Cadmium Yellow. So you can use that. So now to decrease the saturation of the same color, I'll use tiny bit of yellow ochre to it. And then I'll just add a bit of white to the same mixture. Alright, so these are the colors which we will need for our sky. Once you have prepared all your colors, let's move on to painting the sky. So first, let's wet the whole sky area with clean water. Use a larger brush so that you are able to cover a large portion of your sky quicker. Also, so on another note, I wanted to tell you that if you really want to, you know, master your watercolor techniques or you want to learn how to paint with watercolors, do check out my Skillshare class. I have two classes uploaded with step-by-step -step guidance on painting different landscapes. So I'll share the link in the description box. In case you don't have subscription to Skillshare, if you use my link, you will get one month of free access to all the classes on Skillshare. So yeah, if you really want to learn, then do check it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, so let's get to this painting. Once you have applied clean water all over the sky, start with the peach color. Start applying it in a slant position. Once you have applied that color, start applying the pastel yellow color which we have already mixed. Then start with the lavender or the purple color. And as your paper is wet, the color would automatically blend into each other. In case that is not happening, just use the damp brush to help the colors blend together. So yeah, 
just observe where i am holding my brush i am holding it way far from the tip that is because i don't want to apply a lot of pressure and i want my strokes to be little natural so hold your brush little farther away that way you will have less control and it would look much more natural all right i'm super happy with the sky now i just want the top to be little darker so i just added a little bit of ultramarine to the top and i'm just blending it together so yeah i'm pretty much happy with this guy so i let it completely dry before we start painting the mountains So to paint the mountains, I'll just use the same wet on wet technique because I want to make it look a little softer. So I'll just apply clean water on the whole area first and then I'll just take the same lavender mix which we had prepared and I'll start applying it on the mountains. And this time I will leave some gaps in between as I don't want to cover the whole area with those lavender mix because we are painting the snow this is just the shadow of the snow and to create a little bit of depth and contrast so just leave few gaps in between so that it would look much more natural once you have applied the lighter value of the mix then just add a tiny bit of ultramarine to the same mix to make it little darker and switch to your synthetic brown brush and start applying that over the mountains while the paper is still wet then we will start applying the dry brush strokes on the mountains take the black color or you can just use a mix of burnt sienna and black or indigo to make it little darker and then we will start painting the farther more trees on the mountains you just have to do the tapping motion just make sure that you are using the smaller brush and it has a really good tip so it would be easier for you to paint smaller strokes Once that is done, I just added a bit of shadow below the trees and also on the top of the mountain. And then just used the damp brush to blend it with the background. Next, let's add a bit of texture to our mountains. So we will be using dry brush technique. So it's quite simple. Just load your brush with paint and remove all the excess on your tissue. And then just do the rubbing motion on the paper. And you will see that it will create this beautiful texture on the paper. If you are enjoying this video, make sure that you like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the videos which I post weekly, mostly on weekends. And yeah, make sure that you let me know what you would like to see more on this channel as well. So I'll see you in the comments down below. Then I'll draw 
small small rocks on the snow using the same dark color which we were using earlier So we are almost done with the painting now I'll just add final few more details that is I'll add few more dry brush strokes here and there and I'll do the same with the white color only on the top of the mountains. Now the mountains were looking quite flat so what I did is I took the darker value of the purple mix which we created and I just applied it on the mountains to create a little bit of more depth and I also added the colors of the sky on the snow that is the orange or the peach and the yellow color but the very light value that is I added a lot of water to it to make it little lighter and I added it on the top of the mountains as well as in the front. Don't skip this step these are the small details which brings the whole painting together so yeah in case you ruined your first one you just have to do it all over again and that's fine you just have to scrap that paper and do it all over again but believe me if you'll do it second or the third time it will get better and better and you will see the improvement in your painting as well so yeah do it next i'll just add the birds with the black pen you just have to draw the v shape and at the center you just have to draw the dot so in case you are painting this and you are uploading it on social media do tag me i'll leave all my social media links down below and i'm really excited to see all your work so make sure you tag me so that I don't miss out on your painting. My Instagram handle is at the rate artistria gada. Do check my account. I'm also running 12 days mini painting art challenge which only takes you 10 minutes to paint. So in case you are interested to join, do check my Instagram account. I have all the details mentioned over there. Once you are done, let your painting completely dry before you peel off your masking tape at an angle which is away from the paper so that you don't end up tearing it. And yeah, this is how our final painting looks. We have used very basic art supply to paint it. So don't worry, whatever material you have, just go for it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!